In the next step of creating the animation, we're going to do what we call stop motion type animation in Google Slides. So I'll bring in my little water molecule, I'll have it on a slide, I duplicate the slide, I move the water a little bit, duplicate the slide again, move the little the water a little bit. It's a little bit tedious. If you use um, PowerPoint, there is a motion path that you can specify and have it move along the motion path. But we're gonna go with Google Slides because it's available to everybody. Um, on the Google Slides here, the, what you're gonna do is you go to your Google Drive and then you click on New. And when you click New, one of your choices will be Google Slides. And so let's go ahead and um, do a blank presentation. It will automatically come up with a bunch of title stuff instead. And um, there is a way that you can um, change it. So the layout instead, I would just choose blank. So I'm gonna do a blank layout. And the next thing I have to do is import the water molecule. To do that, I go here um, and I do uh, upload from computer. So here's the thing for uploading images. It's the water molecule ended up in my screenshot. So I'm gonna grab that and bring that up here. So now I have my water molecule and um, I'm going to now, uh, what you do is you go to the slide over here on the left and you do um, control key and you click on it. Uh, right uh, button if you have a three button mouse. And so you click on duplicate slide. And now I have my water molecule in the exact same position as on the first slide. And what I'm going to do is then just move it slightly and I'm going to rotate it slightly. And I'm gonna do this a few times. So um, continue control click, duplicate slide. And now I'm gonna copy this and paste it. And this'll be my next water molecule that I'll put in some other orientation that's going to come in um, at sneak in from the left. So I'll just continue this process. Because there's a partial negative charge on the oxygen and a partial positive charge on the hydrogen, that they're a little bit attracted to each other. And this is what I kind of want to try and capture um, on this. And then I can add some text to it. I want to say hydrogen bond. And then I can add an arrow to it. Um, so if with using the line tool. Now I would like the animation to pause here to let the reader see the hydrogen bond that's forming between them, give it its moment in time. So one easy way to do that is just to create a bunch of duplicate slides, say. So I've just made a bunch of them. I will remove this on the very last slide. Oop. There we go. And so let's just go through and see what we have from the start here. So I've got my water molecule kind of going along. The other one comes along and oh, they're sort of attracted to each other. And then um, we see that for a moment. And then I'm going to continue on. What I'm going to add right here, uh, repulsion occurs because the partial positive um, hydrogens are coming into contact with each other.
So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So if we start at the beginning, they form a little hydrogen bond. Now we have a repulsion, it sort of pushes them away. Good, so we have our little baby animation. You can go ahead and change its title. So, uh, water animation, um, we'll call it that. And from there then we can um, want to make it into an animated GIF. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to um, download this particular animation as a PDF. And so a uh, PDF document, it's normally what you would use, for example, if you were to print this. And uh, it's downloaded now into my downloads folder. And then I have one other program that you can use. So we used Mole View to create our atom in the first place, and that's moleview.org. We used our Google Drive, and we used um, uh, the Google Slides to make the animation. So that was ended up here. And now this particular site is easy GIF or GIF, you can say it either way, .com. And what you do in this case is you say, choose the um, GIF maker. So you click on the GIF maker and that's gonna make an animated GIF up here. So you choose your file. Uh, I'm gonna go to that PDF version that was in downloads. So that's here. And it says upload and make a GIF. So it put a delay of, I don't know, 20 milliseconds or something, not 20 seconds, that's for sure. Um, and uh, so, oh, it's one, th one hundredth of a second, so 20 hundredths, so two hundredths of a second, um, no, two tenths of a second is what the um, delay is as you go from one to the next. And uh, so, I click on make a GIF and it'll show up here in a moment. Once it shows up, there's some um, choices you get for timing, for cropping, etc. So you could crop it, you could change the timing if you're like, oh, this goes a little bit too fast. Let's go ahead, we'll change the timing a bit. Um, so over here, I'm going to go 50% of the cur current speed. And then it should show another one here, and that's slower. Once you get it, you can right click or control click on it and save image as, and then you'll save it as whatever you wanna call it. Um, I will save it back to my downloads folder. And then the final thing, I'm gonna close this. The final thing you could do is you can add it, for example, to um, a Jamboard. We were using those a lot if you were going to be doing this as part of a group project. And so under Drive, if I go to New, I can um, go ahead under More and go to my Google Jamboard. I click on that and it's gonna come up with a new Jamboard for me. And I can import then the animated GIF, I use the bringing in an image and going to select my water animation. And there it is, isn't it cute? All right, so that's an idea of how you can do animations.